one of the fears of investment grade is that it will further strengthen the peso, which is actually bad news to the to the OFWs, to the BPOs, to the industries that are actually doing well right now. What's your? How do you plan to manage this? Well, it's uh, all a question of different set of challenges. No? When you're junk, no, you have uh, different challenges. When you're investment grade, you have different challenges. Yes. I prefer the challenges of investment, investment grade. Correct. Right? I'd like Correct. to be AAA also. No? So yes. uh, those are different types of uh, uh, challenges. We just have to continue to improve our productive capacity, our efficiency. We need to continue to move up the value chain. In the case of BPO, uh, when we started uh, over uh, what, 12, 15 years ago, we were in the data encoding part. Yes. We're practically not there anymore. Yes. No, so we've Correct. gone up. No? Yes. And we need to continue to go up. And this is where investment in education, working closely with industry <coughs> to make sure that we supply them with the right talent, uh, doing uh, PPP projects there. You know, where PPP we, is delayed. PPP not just in infrastructure, yes. but uh, uh, PPP in terms of uh, uh, joint activities. You know? uh, for example, um, TESDA, working mm -hmm. closely with uh, BPAP. Uh, uh, TESDA providing the scholarship for people so that they get the right skills yes. so that the hiring cost of members of BPAP is uh, reduced with the right skills. No? And then BPAP providing uh, technical skills to TESDA, yes. no? like, like some of the training modules that they have. No? That's also a PPP, so not just an infrastructure. I see, I see. In the case of infrastructure PPPs, we're yes. moving. Now, there's seven or eight being bidded out uh, uh, right now, including a $1.8 billion light rail transit uh, uh, extension to the south, there's one to the east. Uh, we're about to approve the one uh, northeast, MRT uh, 7. Uh, there's a couple of expressway, um, uh, uh, hospital, uh, there's a um, uh, power plant uh, being built, uh, there's uh, 10,000 school rooms, the second uh, module. See, what people don't understand is that there was a shift from accepting uh, freely unsolicited to preferring solicited. And to do solicited, you need to do your homework. You need to invest in a feasibility study. Yes. And to do a feasibility study takes a while. Just hiring yes. the, the, the consultant that will do the feasibility study will take a couple of months under our system. Mm -hmm. And then uh, doing the feasibility, uh, feasibility study takes uh, a year or so. Mm -hmm. And uh, then re uh, getting to the report and then hiring the consultant who will design the bid out. No? But the good thing now is that we built a pipeline so that in the next few years, it will be uh, just a matter of bidding out uh, uh, projects that will become uh, ready. And the next administration won't have to wait as long as we did. Yes. They can bid out in the next month because the feasibility studies are updated and the work is done. And I think that's what's important and we built, uh, we put back the trust of our people in PPPs. So in, in this case, you've moved beyond just restoring confidence. Are you saying the infrastructure there? If we look at last year, the, the move against, uh, to oust uh, former Chief Justice Renato Corona seemed to be one of the spark points also, that the Philippine government was serious about its anti-corruption campaign. And then after that, we saw many highs. Uh, confidence was boosted. Has the hard work been done? Uh, on the ground to support that confidence? Well, it wasn't just the impeachment of uh, Chief Justice uh, Corona, although that is an important signal because the judiciary is an arm of government Correct. that is uh, the final court. No? Yes, yes. Uh, in I terms would say of, that was uh, more the tipping point because you certainly had DPWH going through a cleanup yeah, process. We, we had the syntax law also, which yes. uh, took uh, more than 15 <coughs> Uh, Which years. is the end of the year. We, right? Yeah, we had the RH uh, right. uh, also that took more than uh, 15 years. We had the pocket open skies early on in the right. administration of the president. Uh, and there's many other reforms in the budget in terms of uh, 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 the transparency initiative. We have the uh, no cash um, initiative. We, we have the uh, transparency at uh, the budget number website where you can look at how the budget is being. Uh, uh, deployed. Yes. That, uh, if you notice, uh, President Aquino is really uh, taking on uh, transformational uh, challenges. No? And I think he will continue to do that. Uh, uh, in the next uh, few months, uh, we'll tackle uh, which of the negative list in investments we can uh, further remove that won't require a constitutional uh, uh, change. No? And um, I think that should also be a, a positive uh, uh, signal. That's great. Um, the easiest entry point for foreign investment is the stock exchange. 
and the stock exchange, how do you prevent hot money inflows that could actually destabilize the economy if, if something, um, if they were spooked and they pull out quickly? Well, uh, obviously, uh, uh, as we are connected to the global uh, economy. Uh, I saw it happen in Indonesia in, in Indonesia, yes. But yes. Uh, in the case of the Philippines, uh, we are a current account structural surplus economy. Yes. Yeah? So even without the hot money flows, uh, we are a current account surplus country because of BPOs, the remittances, and the, and the, the, the uh, increasing tourism you know, and our increasing exports. Exports up 7.8% uh, uh, last year. So even when hot money flows leave, we're still positive. You know? And then our reserves are at historic highs. It's more than 12 months of our uh, imports. You know? Plus the fact that the central bank has been quite vigilant in imposing uh, rules. Now, for example, uh, they've disallowed foreign funds from investing in uh, SDAs. Now, yes. uh, I think uh, pretty soon they'll be requiring cred uh, uh, looking at uh, uh, reserve requirements for uh, uh, interbank lending, uh, head office subsidiary uh, from foreign, of foreign banks. Now. So then they're going to look at the complete uh, uh, tool set available to them. They're putting safeguards uh, To put uh, safeguards. Then we have withholding taxes that yes. uh, may uh, create yes uh, no. friction, which is good for us. Yes. Uh, so uh, they are very vigilant, and uh, so uh, that's good.